Can big companies across the country have pushed the return to office back to November, back to December, in some cases into 2022? Talk to me about the approach you've taken at Citadel and Citadel Securities and whether you think it's a model others should follow. So you, you, ans you asked the question exactly right. Big companies have pushed back the return to work. Smaller companies are back at work. And in some sense, it's a pretty straightforward reason. Small companies are always on the edge of their own existence. They don't have a big economic moat from a big consumer brand name. If you're a small business, you're, you're trying to literally make it from day to day, week to week, in, in trying to realize your dream and to make your business successful. And the productivity hit of being in a remote environment by Zoom, you're just not gonna be successful. Your business is just too fragile. And so what we see is a, a very stark difference in the return to office programs between small and medium enterprises and the large global, global multinationals. Now at Citadel, we have been 100% back at work since June, and we were at 50% back at work through most of the pandemic. It was that very initial phase where, where we were shut down like the rest of the country. We were fortunately able to, to literally build a trading floor in the Four Seasons of Palm Beach, Florida in five days, bring 100 and some people down to Florida and to run a substantial part of the U.S. capital markets from a hotel in the middle of South Florida. And that, that's a, a real credit to my team for their engineering ingenuity and their ability just to get the damn job done. And I, I really appreciate my team members who made that happen. It was incredibly important to the strong functioning of the U.S. markets and equities and fixed income and other assets that we pulled that off. But having said this, if you are early in your career, you are making a grave mistake not being back at work. It's incredibly difficult to have the managerial experiences and the interpersonal experiences that you need to have to take your career forward in a work remotely environment. Work remotely is very good at maintaining the status quo, but the world's not static. Competitive pressures from around the world will put American businesses continually under pressure. The Chinese have been back at work literally from almost the start. They're continuing to evolve at a very rapid rate of innovation. And we are, in many ways, stuck in patterns from 18 months ago because it is so much harder to create and to innovate in a remote working environment.